Hello. Abortion. The first victim of abortion is the unborn child whose life is ended deliberately. Though it is performed with all the appearances of medical care and surrounded by euphemisms, termination of pregnancy is the termination of human life. Taking the life of a child in the womb is as unjust as taking the life of a newborn baby. The fact that the child is totally dependent on his or her mother and that the termination is done with the consent of the child's mother makes it far more dreadful. In the words of the Second Vatican Council, both abortion and infanticide are abominable crimes. For this reason, the law of the Church establishes that a person who actually procures an abortion fully aware of what they are doing incurs the penalty of excommunication that can only be rescinded through the sacrament of penance. Having acknowledged the unborn child, recognition should be given to the difficult circumstances that expectant mothers sometimes find themselves in and also to the responsibilities of others. The doctor, the father, the employer, the family, the church and wider society are all involved directly or indirectly in different ways and each has responsibilities. There may be financial or other pressures and those around the expectant mother may fail to give her the support she needs and deserves. A boyfriend, parent or friend may even try to push her into terminating the pregnancy. Sometimes the woman is subjected to such strong pressure that she feels psychologically forced to have an abortion. In such cases, the woman would be less blameworthy for her decision. In a secondary sense, the woman is also the victim, for she loses her child, but is unable to grieve effectively. The Church does not doubt that in many cases it was a painful and even shattering decision. The wound in your heart may not be healed. There are other people who share the blame for what happened, but it is the woman herself who must live with the consequences. Post-abortion drama is common, and in some cases severe. Though those who feel guilt and remorse are in a healthier state than those who never allow themselves to grieve or feel guilty. The Church welcomes women who feel remorse over an abortion and who come seeking forgiveness, reconciliation and absolution. As a result of such experiences, some have been able to become almost the most eloquent defenders of everyone's right to life. There is an important distinction to be made between abortion, in which a human life is destroyed, and contraception, in which no human being is conceived. Contraception and abortion are specifically different. They are, however, closely connected as fruits of the same tree. There are forms of so-called contraception which work in part by preventing the embryo from implanting in the womb and which in moral terms are abortifacients. The morning after pill re re relies primarily on this effect. The public should demand that pharmaceutical companies be honest and explicit in stating how their drugs can have an adverse effect on the woman's health especially her reproductive system. Thank you for listening. God bless you all.